dishwasher not cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your dishwasher. Don't throw out that old dishwasher. It might just need a cleaning. Okay, so this is the dishwasher. It's a Maytag. This is a, a Jet Clean Dishwasher EQ Plus. bottom rack out. Now the top rack, how you bring that out, is you bring it fully out, extend it back a little bit, and these are clips that push inward. And then you pull them out. So save that. And on this side, push in, pull out. And now you can take this whole rack out. Okay, with the rack out, You'll have the top spinner, and it just pops out. Just like that. Okay, so on the Maytags, you just undo this screw here, counterclockwise. Take that off. Pull this little guy out. And this comes right off. Then with the T Torx bit, undo the screws. That's nasty. So we'll take that out and clean that. Okay, so I took the the top one out, um, the top spinner, and I can tell why the dishes aren't getting clean. Look at that paper and gunk in there, but mostly paper. Now I think this what this is is um, the labels off of glasses and that sort of thing. Um, they they can't get through there, so they get stuck, and that's why you get really bad performance out of your dishwasher. So you pull out what you can. Gross stuff. I've used a toothpick to get a lot of it out, but a lot of it's still trapped in here, and I've also run it under water. But I'm I've got it in my shop here, so I'm going to run some air through it. This is the top one. So, that looks much better. All the ports are clean. I blew them all out. Uh, you probably didn't see it, but there's a big chunk that came out of there. So I just stuck the air gun in here, and then back over here, and then blew all this stuff up. You might not be able to get all of it out, but try and get as much as you can anyway. And then I'll run it back under the water in the house. Some hot water. So, that's the top one. And here's the bottom one. Now there's a lot of gunk in these. I've cleaned them out already. What I noticed though when I pulled this out, there's a lot of mildew or mold in the bottom. Disgusting. I mean you're washing your dishes. 
in this crap. So I am almost thinking that, you know, I'm going to clean this every couple of months, take it off. It's easy to take off, and scrub it all down, and make sure all the jets are clean. So it's not your dishwasher. It's it's uh, check this first before replacing your dishwasher. I'll blow this one out. you what came out of here. Look at, look at that paper. That's gross. And that gets stuck in those jets. No wonder it doesn't clean. So, just keep ripping this back, blowing it all out. Okay, so that's the bottom one done. I got most of it out. There's whatever else is in there should get blown back out when it fires back up again. Now you can replace these with new ones. You just need your model number, but I mean, why not try that first? I'm sure that'll make a huge difference. Okay. Okay, so I cleaned the filter out as much as I could, but there's still little tiny specks in there. I tried to toothbrush everything to get them out, so I'm going to try some compressed air from the inside out. Yeah, from the inside out and see what it does. Okay, well, I blew it out the best I could. It definitely helped. But there's still a few little specks here and there and there. I mean, it's definitely way better than what it was. Um, I may order another replacement filter. But uh, I might try running it under some hot water again to see if I can get the last little bit of specks out of it to clean it. But it's definitely better. I don't think it's ever been changed in this dishwasher. So that was probably part of my cleaning issues right there. I just want to make a note of this here. I want to make sure you clean all of these out. There's little slots right in here. These were all jammed full of crud. So it's got to be able to flow here. So you don't want to clean these out.
Now to put the spinner back in, it'll just pop in. Just like that. I'm going to put your rack back in. Line up the wheels. And put your caps back in. And then push this towards you to snap it. And that's secure, other side. And snap that one. Okay, that's your top one. And then roll your bottom one back in. And there you're done. Now what I usually do after everything's been completed is run some bleach through the whole thing. And then I run some vinegar through it for one cycle. And uh, seems to get the dishes really clean after this. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and comment below.